Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. And what it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this union, Sky Chandler Quartermain and Jasper Jacks now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. So sorry, this occasionally happens during rainstorms, so everyone just please stay where you are and I'll see if I can get the lights on, all right? Yeah. What if this is all too good to be true? I mean, what if this is a sign that maybe Sky. we should... Sky. Sky. We've been tested by far worse than the PAL family, okay? I'm not worried in the slightest. Yeah, I wish I had your confidence. When have we ever done anything the easy way? <laughs> Never. You know, my life with you is full of the unexpected. It's one of the things I cherish most. So why should our wedding be any different? That's right. I'd be disappointed if it was. <laughs> Do you want to sit down? No, look, this is how it's going to go, all right? If those lights come on, then I'm not going to think twice. I'm just, I'm just going to chalk it up to a temporary case of nerves, OK? OK. <sighs> I'm afraid there's no hope in restoring the lights. The entire area has been left without power. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. If you'd like to reschedule, I'd be more than happy to perform the ceremony next week. and the pouring rain and you now the power failure maybe Scott. maybe this isn't just isn't meant to be Scott, come on you know we create our own fate i know but maybe it's just a heavenly hint that this this shouldn't happen tonight i mean it's not like we planned the wedding months ago we only planned it days ago so maybe it wouldn't be so terrible to reschedule well i want this to be the wedding of your dreams so well then so maybe it wouldn't be so bad to have it next week or, or next month when the the weather and the stars are on our side. Okay. If you want a clear night, then we'll wait. All right. All right. You sure? I don't know, Jax. You're getting married, too. What do you want? I want to marry you tonight. I mean, they had weddings long before they invented the electricity. I'm, and I'm sure some of them took place in rainstorms. I know, but you have to admit it. Sky, this is what I've always dreamed of. The two of us at the altar, saying our vows to each other. All that matters is what's in our hearts. Our love for each other. The promises we're about to make. And we'll be together for the rest of our lives. I want to make you my wife tonight. If that's what you want.
Power failures and inclement weather notwithstanding, we have come to the heart of the ceremony, where Jax and Sky will pledge themselves to each other. The words are simple but powerful. They represent a promise to face the future, whatever it may hold, together. This is the foundation of their marriage, to make and keep these promises of love and fidelity. And so, Jax, Sky, I invite you to exchange your vows. Before God, I, Sky, take you, Jax, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. Before God, I, Jax, take you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. With the exchange of vows, Jax and Sky have offered each other their trust and faith, the brightest hopes, darkest fears, for no life is without challenges, no love without trial. They will be sustained by the commitment they made to each other tonight by the support of those gathered here and by our prayers. The blessings we ask for them in the name of the Lord. the exchange of rings, the symbols of Jackson Sky's marriage vows and commitment to each other. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings as a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other.